my woodworking story is similar to many of y'all's in just starting out doing very simple projects with the minimum tools required and then as your projects sort of get more elaborate needing better tools and then those better tools give you the option to make even more complicated projects so it's a wonderful little back and forth um, and uh, my story sort of got started about 20 years ago it was uh, me, my dad, and my brother building miniature workbenches and um, little miniature uh, toolboxes. Basically just a kid-sized woodworking setup and it was really fun. Stuff like little woodworking chisels with um, the handles cut smaller and uh, hammers with the handles cut down smaller. Just scaled everything down to where we could use them easier and uh, that was really fun. And so you fast forward to today I have uh, been through multiple shops, but all temporary, so certain tools I haven't really been able to collect up very easy just because of not having a place to put them due to space or electricity uh, and so on. But now that I've got the new basement shop, I was able to plan the shop out and start getting some of the tools that are specific to the projects that I make and want to make in the future. And uh, this video is on the new bandsaw. It's the Grizzly. 17 inch bandsaw. Its model number is G0513X2. And it's a 17 inch bandsaw. It's the first one in their Extreme series. It's priced at $1,100 with $100 freight shipping. And I had it delivered to the UPS freight place since it's brought on a tractor trailer. They couldn't bring it down the small road that I live on. So I had them uh, hold it at the depot and then I picked it up. So that actually made it easier because I was able just to plop it right in the back of the truck and take it directly where I needed it and didn't have to pick it up twice. Um, so you can see it pretty much maxes out the size for this shop. So for those of you who have smaller shops or um, shops set up in the basement, this is a great way to get a very uh, capable saw in a small space. It's a little over six feet tall, two horsepower motor. Um, this one I have it set up to run off 220. It's got 12 inches of vertical capacity and I was very impressed by its quality. Um, I've been using it a pretty good amount so far and it's working great. I'm going to do some more detailed videos of its assembly and uh, doing some demonstrations with it. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. It was fun to put together. Um, getting this saw in the shop and assembled has been something that's really been killing me. It's been sort of uh, in storage um, in my other shop before I moved it here. And then I had it back around the corner sort of waiting for several weeks. So getting it put together and putting it to use has been really fun and super helpful. I've used it so far to cut tenons, um, the tenons for my farm tables and ripping some little small stock um, and making a couple things for the house on it. So it has been put to use and so far I have zero complaints and only good things to say about it. But I'm gonna talk more about some of those features the saw has in a future review type video. And, uh, but the next video is gonna be on the saw's assembly because whether you buy this saw or a different model from Grizzly, it's all gonna be roughly the same, how it's gonna come in a crate and then require some assembly. And then really it even applies to other tools from them. Pretty much all of them are gonna come crated up on a pallet in a cardboard boxes with plastic wrapped around them. And so there's gonna be some basic assembly, but in general, I was really happy with um, sort of the level of uh, the saw's uh, assembly and that it was sort of pretty well tuned right out the box. I The only thing I adjusted are the, the uh, roller guides, which are specific to the blade anyway, and stuff like the tracking on the um, saw was perfectly fine. So it really was pretty easy just to get it up and running. So that is a major plus um, and uh, reinforces some of my 
uh, urges for other tools that Grizzly makes. So um, I guess there'll be more on that in the future. So just stay tuned and if you have any uh, suggestions for future videos regarding this saw or bandsaw techniques in general, just let me know and I'll add them to the list. So thanks for watching. See you next time. If you enjoyed this video and you're not already a subscriber, click the red button on the screen now and you'll get updates of all my future uploads. Thanks for watching.